We all know Red Hat X certifications are very valuable and it will help you a lot for getting shortlisted in the hiring process. But we also know Red Hat exams are not a simple multiple choice questions exams but 100% practical exams and performance measurement is involved. And Red Hat exams always happen at classrooms, uh, on-site or dedicated kiosks at uh, authorized exam centers. But we all know most of the exam centers are or were closed during uh, COVID-19 pandemic and we were in a situation where we cannot schedule uh, or attend any Red Hat exams. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I have scheduled my open shift uh, exam six times. Yeah and cancelled or rescheduled uh, because of this situation until I attended the, this um, exam here in Singapore in last July. But this is not the situation anymore. In August 2020, Red Hat announced the availability of remote exams for students and the entire learning community were so happy. Yes, uh, you can attend um, Red Hat exams from our home or office. Uh, not all exams yet, it was only 4 exams in the first place, but we can see more exams are available as remote exams right now. But we all got confused when we read the details of the exam environment. Uh, yes, it is not uh, easy and not uh, a straightforward like other remote exams. Okay, uh, if you are watching our videos for the first time, my name is Gini and welcome to TechBeatly. If you like our videos, uh, if you think our videos are useful, you may please subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, to get the latest videos. Please note, I am not affiliated or associated with Red Hat or any of its affiliates right now. This is uh, purely based on my personal experience with Red Hat exams. In this video, I will explain about Red Hat ex remote exams and how to prepare for a remote exam. Please bear with me as this video will be a bit lengthy because I will try to explain some or some items in detail. Uh, okay, as I mentioned in the first place, Red Hat exams are 100% practical exams happening uh, in dedicated exam centers with strict rules. Yes. So, how can we achieve the same uh, strictness and transparency when we conduct practical uh, exams remotely? Okay, yeah, we all have that concern. So, Red Hat uh, wants to avoid any situations where exam takers uh, cheat during the exam. Yeah, most of our remote exams are multiple choice exams and we just need to share the entire desktop and a remote proctor will watch our activities together with uh, visual from our desktop or laptop camera or I mean the web camera. Even we have remote exams uh, with the practical tasks uh, like um, certified Kubernetes administrator or certified Kubernetes application developer. Uh, all those are practical but uh, those also use the browser based platforms and the remote doctor is using screen sharing and webcam visuals. Sorry, Red Hat uh, remote exams will not happen in that way. Okay, so how can we attend Red Hat exams uh, or Red Hat remote exams using the Red Hat method? Okay, the Red Hat remote exam will happen in a special arrangement where you will have to boot uh, with a special Fedora operating system provided by Red Hat. You can download the ISO from Red Hat and create a live OS uh, USB boot disk and test it on your system even before you plan for Red Hat remote exams. Red Hat ex uh, actually Red Hat has uh, given details uh, or detailed instructions on how to make live USB boot drives but this will be um, easy and you can use any method to create the USB boot disk. This will be a customized operating system and you will load it uh, from a USB thumb drive as a live operating system. That means don't need to install uh, uh, anything on your operating system with the current uh, or your current workstation. 
So there is an operating system on your local machine or nothing to configure for this operating system and it will not touch anything on your local computer. I believe I don't need to explain to you how to use a live, live OS from a USB. Once you load the live OS, the only option will be to log into Red Hat exams and nothing else. You will not be able to access any other items from the OS or anything like uh, browsing the internet uh, or yeah, any other task. Yes, this is purely a customized operating system to conduct the exam. I cannot share a lot of details because of the NTA, but you can see those links I have shared in the description uh, of this video to understand more about this remote exam. So how to enroll for remote exam? This task will be the same as your normal exam enrollment or normal exam enrollment. Once you purchase the exam, you will receive instruction to access the exam scheduler portal uh, where you will see the uh, eligible exam uh, or purchased exams. If the exam is available as remote, there will be an option to choose a remote exam and you can book for the exam, exam uh, available slot, same like your classroom exam or kiosk exam. Please remember to choose your time zone properly to avoid wrong uh, time slot selection. Let's say uh, you found an issue to test the setup. Uh, no, no need to worry because you will have the option to switch between remote exams and testing centers, but you need to do this 24 hours or more in advance of your exam schedule. That's why I recommend that you arrange the test, you arrange and test your remote exam setup at least four to five days in advance so you will get enough time to plan or change your plans. I will explain more details about the remote exam setup. Please continue watching this video. Okay, what about a remote exam fee? Okay, uh, there is no price difference uh, for testing centers or remote uh, exams. Remote exams is just an additional option uh, other than the classroom and testing uh, senders exam. And um, how to prepare for, I mean, how to prepare your workstation for remote exam? Okay, this is the interesting part. As you are setting up an exam environment, the same like at test centers or testing centers. As I explained earlier, you will boot from a live USB disk uh, which you have prepared using the ISO provided by Red Hat. Refer to the Red Hat uh, guide uh, which I have mentioned in the video description. You will find the links to download the ISO then how to create the USB boot disk with the different uh, operating systems like if you are using Windows or if you are using Fedora, Linux or Mac. Okay, yes, you can refer the same uh, anytime even before purchase of your Red Hat exam. The system requirement is very minimal in terms of specification, but you will see the additional requirements on later stages of this video. You can use your laptop or desktop for the exam as long as they support uh, USB booting for the ISO image. If you are using a MacBook uh, or other Apple computers, uh, please make sure you read the document and make sure uh, it's supporting. I mean, uh, if any, any any issue with the version of your hardware or version of your MacBook computer. There might be some restriction and issues to use the image uh, depending on the what version of the device you are using. So just make sure it's working. By default, the minimal setup will be with a USB drive with a live OS image and an external webcam. That's all. Hey, wait, I have a webcam on my laptop. Why should I need an additional one? Okay, we know the indicated webcam is not enough to monitor the exam taker and the exam device or your laptop. So proctors should be able to monitor you from an angle covering your laptop and sitting position and um, the proctor may ask you anytime to show your room or desk uh, if any suspicious activities are observed. Yeah, it is the same uh, rule or same for all remote proctored exams. So you must uh, need an external webcam with at least one meter cable length. And yes, 
you need a minimum of two USB port for USB ports for this setup. Okay, did I mention that uh, Bluetooth devices are not allowed for, for these exams? Yes, you cannot use any devices like a Bluetooth or wireless keyboard or wireless mouse or Bluetooth keyboard or wireless camera. No, nothing is allowed. Can I use an external keyboard and mouse as I am not comfortable with the laptops integrated keyboards and touchpad? Yes, you are allowed to use an external keyboard and mouse as per Red Hat. Red Hat already mentioned this in the document. Um, yeah, it's good. So what if my laptop screen is very small and I need to use the external uh, monitor? I have a big monitor. What if I need to use that? Yes, bigger screens are good for exams as you can do multiple things in parallel. Uh, without switching between uh, tabs and consoles and the good news is that you can use an external monitor but you need to keep your uh, laptop lid closed it means you cannot use a laptop monitor and a external monitor. So you can use only one screen and that will be an external monitor. Oh wait. Please not. You will not be able to use the laptop keyboard and the touchpad uh, when you keep your laptop lid closed. Correct. That means you must have an additional or external keyboard and mouse if you want to use an external monitor with a laptop. And yes, the number of uh, USB ports are required. Um, I mean, now you need four USB po ports actually. This is another issue I have mentioned earlier and we all know that most of laptops uh, will not have more than two USB ports and some don't even have uh, USB ports but USB type C ports. So you need a, you need to arrange a USB extender or converter if you have if you are planning a full setup with an external monitor something like this. You can get a budget USB extender from Amazon or Shopee but just buy a decent one with the multiple options for your future use. I have used uh, my Ubeam USB-C hub uh, which is a 6-in-1 converter with HDMI, USB ports, Type-C ports and SD card slots. Not needed for the exam but I just use it for my regular day-to-day -day work. Also if you are buying a new webcam make sure avoid cheap web cameras because during the verification process you need to show your ID to the proctor via this external web camera. If the camera is not that good, the ID won't be able to read and you will be in trouble or may end up in reschedule in the exam. So buy a decent web camera and I think you can get a decent one for 50 to 100 USD or less than that. And you can use it for your future video calls. It will not be a waste of uh, money. Yeah, then uh, you can see the sample links for all those items uh, in the description for those items which I am using. Let me conclude on the remote exam setup options. Basically, you have four options. So the first one, uh, you, have, you can have a laptop screen, external webcam, integrated keyboard and touchpad only. Okay, and the second option is a laptop screen external webcam, integrated keyboard and wired external mouse. And the third option is a desktop computer with a single monitor, external web camera, wired keyboard and wired mouse. And the fourth setup is laptop with a lid closed, external monitor, external webcam, wired keyboard and wired mouse. Hope that's clear. If any clarification, please ask me in the comment box. What about mic and speaker? Okay, mic and speakers are required to be on for the entire exam and you can use your laptop, laptop's uh, built-in microphone and speaker. Mm. Headsets are not allowed as per my understanding but you may confirm with um, head head support if this is an issue. I mean, let's say if your mic is not working, something like that, just make sure you contacted head head support and understand this. What about the internet connection? 
it is highly recommended to uh, get a wired internet connection if possible but as we all know that most of the time it won't happen as our router will be placed at the main hall and we will not be able to attend the exam from there i mean from the main hall so if you are connecting to wi-fi make sure the signal is good and the required speed will be there on your machine i heard from people that they have attended some online exams using mobile data and uh, mobile hotspot please don't plan such um, arrangements uh, for red hat remote exams even if you have 100 percent trust on your mobile service provider and yeah the signal is i mean good no i mean it's not a good idea am i ready for a remote exam good question ensure you have connected your live uh, os usb disk external mouse keyboard external web camera etc before you power on your workstation so it will detect properly once the live os is loaded from the usb boot disk before you go to exam login there will be an option for setting up wi-fi connection then your mic and speaker etc make sure your audio uh, audio and the mic is working fine as you will not be able to adjust adjust this uh, settings later and you need to reboot to get the configuration window again after the configuration there will be a compatibility test option once you log into the red hat uh, exam from live os you can refer these details from red hat official uh, documentations as well so run this compatibility test and also uh, make sure you pass it for your remote exam setup as i recommend in the first or beginning of uh, this video you can do all this test even before you book the exam but just need to i mean just need your red hat login to sign in and do the test um, remaining arrangements are normal uh, i mean normal exam procedures and i cannot explain in detail due to the nda so what about uh, drinks or snacks um, as we know red hat exams are three or four hours long sessions and you can take breaks uh, with permissions but instead of going out you can keep some drinks or small snacks uh, during your exam uh, but they have to be checked uh, by the proctor on camera before the exam begins uh, read the frequently asked questions for more details on this topic as well and uh, that's that's all for the red hat uh, remote exams and um, i believe you have some idea about the exam arrangement and procedures as you can see it's just you need to arrange the extra accessories but the um, arrange uh, other other configurations are nothing complicated to arrange the environment if you have any questions not on the exam questions uh, on the setup please ask in the comment box i will try my best to answer from my level uh, thanks for watching and if you think our videos are useful please like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel see you next time with uh, another video thank you